John Lang, Wally Services. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, we're doing a house wash, and it's just me, so I don't know why we said we are. I guess you and me are. We're both going to do this together. So I'm letting my tank fill up. It's pretty getting pretty full now, so I can start anytime. It's at least halfway. That's what I go for, at least halfway, and then I start. Um, got my yard sign up, and I've already done my pretty much 20 rounds. They call it five rounds, but I hit at least 20 houses in the surrounding area uh, with door hangers. So I already got that knocked out. Usually I do that at the end, but now it's already done, so I don't got to worry about it. That's what it's all about, man, is making use of every second. Don't ever sit there and have downtime. Um, another thing that's really cool about this is I use Sun Gym. So these people, these people got door hangers. That's how I got the job. The neighbors got an additional door hangers, and now with Sun Gym, once this job is paid for, there's gonna get they're gonna get radius bombed with 20 to 25 more uh, different door hangers that say, "Hey, we just did your neighbors. We they loved our work. Would you like to sign up?" And that's the trick to marketing with flyers or door hangers. You can literally build a million dollar business with just door hangers as long as you go 110% with it. You can't just make 50, go put them in a neighborhood and say bummer that didn't work. Or or do you can't even do a thousand and say bummer that didn't work. You have to do 5,000, 10,000. You have to do a lot and you have to always be getting rid of them. And if you have downtime, then you use that downtime to hang up door hangers. It's as simple as that. Also, if a house says no soliciting, you can still put a door hanger up because you're not selling anything to them. You're just canvassing, marketing, you're doing what the post office would do, except you're putting it on their door instead of a mailbox. So if I would have skipped this house just because their door says no soliciting, we probably wouldn't have this job right now. The only reason we got this job is because of a door hanger. <laughs> getting some feedback about how it's a wasted process it's a wasted step I disagree especially on a hot day it helps cool the house down and cool the siding off so the chem will stay wet on the house longer and it won't dry as fast um, if you're not gonna wet the house first what you need to at least do still is wet the plants and wet the windows that way the chem won't dry as quick on those things and you have some time to rinse it off but realistically probably do not need to wet the house first in my opinion it doesn't take much longer to wet the house real quick so I'm fine with doing it this way So I did this whole house wash, right? And uh, I rinsed everything. Everything came off great, except this gutter. Uh, this strip of gutter still had some black streaks and stuff on it. Um, so just because it doesn't come off the first take, don't assume that it's oxidation. Um, you know, especially if it's 
there's stuff on the that that part. Oh, my fingers causing it. That part right there. Um, just go ahead and re-hit it with the downstream injector, and it should clean right up, like this did. This is all bright, so now I can rinse this little section. So this client was really, really nice and actually paid in advance for service. Um, paid her invoice like a week early and on top of that gave me a $15 tip. So I'm gonna do a couple little bonuses for her. I'm gonna clean up this concrete slab and I think I'm gonna brighten her, try to brighten her concrete for her patio walkway over there, right there. So I'll show you guys how I do that. So yeah, check it out. All I did was use the pump up sprayer, hit it and then rinse it off real quick. I actually probably could have downstreamed it because I thought, sorry, oh this thing's hard to maneuver man, sorry, alright, I thought this was concrete, but it's like a, uh, I don't even know what the hell it is, and then we got this over here which is concrete, I hit this with a pump up sprayer, so I'm probably going to try to rinse it off with slightly high pressure. I'm not gonna bust out the surface clear or anything, and that should brighten it up a little bit. So now that I got the majority of that off, I'll probably hit it with the, the pump up sprayer one more time, just the concrete. I'll spray water around the house, you know, around the uh, where the concrete is touching the house because I don't want the sh to be sitting on the house i just want it to sit on the concrete and i'll just leave it uh, any little pieces of green or discoloration should just brighten up and rinse right off come the next rain or instantaneously hey thanks for watching the video seriously and uh go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell post all the time helpful videos if you need anything contact me on uh, Instagram it would be John Wally Lang and I got a snapchat kaleidoscope mine I'll put them both in the in the description if you're interested but uh, feel free to reach out to me ask me any questions you got uh, I will get back to you uh, maybe not instantly maybe instantly it just depends on what I'm doing at the at the moment but I really do get around to everybody who who uh, takes the time to reach out and ask me a question so just, just hit me up on, on uh, either one of those social media platforms. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good one. And wash on, y'all.